Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to do another palette video. So I've done this with my spring palettes and now I want to do a summer version. So these are like my favorite colors for summer. I'm not going to say favorite palettes because some of them I haven't even used yet. <laughs> and I don't even know if they're good because I've heard some negative reviews. But I'll tell you which ones those are and if there are some that are actually favorites I'll let you know as well but this video is more about just like having fun with eyeshadows and it's just an excuse for me to talk about my eyeshadow palettes <laughs> so we'll just get started because I have a lot a lot of palettes I don't think I have as many as my spring one I'm not sure and I think some of these I did already mention in the spring palette video but they're kind of like it could be spring or summer so yeah um they're not really in any order so i'll just start with these like smaller ones in front of me so the first one i have here this one i'm pretty sure i mentioned in my spring palette video it's the abh norvina mini pro pigment palette volume 2 first of all the packaging is like very retro summer vibes and this is the color story which I love this is the only mini Norvina palette that I own because it's the only one that I found was like unique to my collection I did use it once before and I remember really loving the orange um, this palette looks the colors look darker on camera but in person like this orange is like a neon, so I don't know why it looks more like a true orange on on camera, but whatever. Um, I really liked this palette when I used it, and it's really fun for summer because of the bright colors. So that's my first one. My next one is more basic, like everyday kind of vibes so this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea volume 3. I got this in a boxy charm I think or my mom did and she gave it to me. Um, this is a palette that I was considering decluttering because I have all these shades in other palettes and looking at them all together I mean they're so similar to each other it's like why well, have a whole palette of just like champagne shimmers which is what this is basically but i really like the formula of these tarte palettes the shimmers are really nice and high shine so yeah i decided to keep it but we'll see going forward there is only one matte shade in this palette and it's this one here and it barely shows up on my skin tone because it's pretty much the same tone as my skin but yeah I keep this around just because the formula is really good and I think for summer it's fun sometimes to just have like a shimmery light shimmery eye you know that can go with any lip color or blush so there's that one this next one is one that I haven't used yet and I really should because it's old um, but it's something that I've heard really bad reviews about and I'm not even sure if it exists anymore but it is the Laura Lee Los Angeles party animal palette this came in a boxy charm but look at these shades I've heard the formula is not good but these are like the only super neon shades that I feel like I have in my collection um, I might have these shades like as pops of color in different palettes but I don't have a palette that's super neon like this so that's why I've kept it around so long but I really need to use it to test the formula because yeah if it's like really not as vibrant on the eyes then obviously I'll just probably get rid of it because the only thing that's drawing me is the neonness of how these colors look in the pan but yeah this is the kind of color story that I like to play with in the summertime. I wouldn't pull this out like in the fall or winter, so I thought I would mention it now and hopefully 
I'll have time to actually try it out. <laughs> this is another palette I haven't used yet and I'm very disappointed because I love this palette. This is the pure, I mean, I love how it looks. I don't know if I love it because I haven't used it. But it's the Pure Raw Beauty Christie Double Sided Pressed Pigment Palette. So I was thinking like maybe only the colorful side is summery. But I feel like even the neutral side has like a summer twist. Because it has these like, um, this kind of like mustardy yellow that I could also use in the fall. But... I feel like it's very summery in like the sense that it makes me think of flowers kind of thing, like a sunflower. And this like nice um, corally shade, I feel like you could do a fun look with even the more neutral side of this palette, but the bright side is super summery. So yeah. And it still has a nice like mustardy tone here which i love just that this one is more yellow um yeah so i don't know why i haven't used this i guess i was like bitter about the whole experience of getting this palette because i was one of those people that was waiting like 12 hours um not directly in front of my computer but you know checking every so often because i was in like a, a line for a checkout and then it got kicked out, but then it charged me, and then they told me they didn't have my order. Eventually, I got a refund, but I also got the palette, so I only paid for, like, the shipping, I guess. So that was, a, like, a good deal, I guess. But, yeah, I'm happy I have this, only I just don't know why I haven't reached for it yet. This is another palette that I got in a boxy charm. It's the Ace Beauté Scarlet Dusk palette and it's beautiful. I haven't used it yet <laughs> but this is my color story like oranges you know just really fun colors. This could be like a summer into fall palette I feel like August, September kind of. I just love how this looks. And I've heard that the Ace Beauté eyeshadows are really good. So I'm excited to try this one out too. And then I have three, three more Pure palettes. I don't know why Pure is very like a summery brand to me. The first one is this BoxyCharm exclusive palette. I think it's just called like the Boxy Charm and Pure palette, and I haven't used it yet. It still has a plastic sheet on it. Wow. So, <laughs> yeah, this is another palette I just feel is like fun for summer because you could do like a neutral eye, and then like use some of these colors maybe on the waterline or all over the lid, like I did with this blue today, but. Yeah, I don't know if this is any good. I haven't heard the best reviews. So another one. I have to test out to see if I like it. And then these other two are the Pure Festival and the Pure Festival 2.0. So <laughs> this first one I have used before. I really, I remember really liking it. Only I don't think I will ever put these glitters on my eyes again because I had a really hard time getting them off because they're like very they have like a very sticky like silicone-y base that is a good thing in the sense that the glitter doesn't like fall out everywhere but trying to get it off your eye is horrifying because it's like scratchy and yeah I just no I don't think I'm ever gonna put those on my face again but the mattes I remember being really nice and blendable. So this is another neutral with pops of color, in this case pink and purple. So there's that one. And then the Festival 2.0, I don't think I've used. Well, maybe I have. It looks like I did. This is maybe more color variety than the first one. Let's compare. Yeah, so the first one is basically 
neutral with a pink and a purple and glitters. This one does not have glitters, which is good. I think, I don't think that's a glitter. Yeah, those are more like metallic. Wow, Ooh, okay, that looks really nice. <laughs> I should use this. Yeah, this one has more varieties like blue, pink, purple, also neutral, but yeah. Anyway, there's that one. I need to use these palettes. Next we have a palette that I look at every day and I'm like, why have I not used you yet? It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Emreezy. I think this is on sale right now on Sephora. At least it was, so maybe check that out if you missed out on this palette the first time, but Oh my god, this looks beautiful. I don't know what my problem is. Yeah, it's just, I love this color story. So this whole row, these are all shimmers, and these two. Um, this one is like a satin shade, but then the rest are mattes. And I already know I'm going to love this. Maybe that's why I haven't used it yet, because I haven't felt the need to test it. When I use makeup, it's because I like to test things, but I already know this, um, well, I know Anastasia has one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas, and I love the colors in here, so, yeah, but why haven't I used it? And I should have, I should be using it in the summer because it has, like, those fun pops of color. I think, like, if a, if a palette has this blue in it, I'm automatically like, that's a summer palette. Because <laughs> I would never wear that shade like otherwise. So yeah, I really need to get on this one too. Then I have three Urban Decay palettes. So the first one is my Naked Heat. This palette is well loved in my collection, even though it's like pretty basic and similar to other color stories I guess but I really love this palette I have a video just using this palette which I can link below I'll link below any videos that I have with these palettes specifically but um this is the only Urban Decay palette that I've ever bought full price if that tells you anything this is my color story even though it's just very brown <laughs> um but it's red brown so it's like very warm and i love that so yeah i had to mention this one also it's called naked heat so clearly it has to be in the summer video the next one i haven't used yet and i got it for christmas so i should have used it by now it's the urban decay naked honey palette so this one is more neutral tan kind of shades um i really want to use this very badly <laughs> but this is like another i don't know even though it's not as warm as the naked heat it still gives me like a yellowy sunflower summer honey vibe that was a very strange description <laughs> but yeah i have to use this one too my last Urban Decay palette. Is this my last? I guess so. The uh, Born to Run. This one I have used before, but I didn't use the fun like colors on this side more. So I need to get on that. Um, but yeah, this is a palette that people say is the best Urban Decay palette ever. Um, I feel like that is actually the Urban Decay Kristen Leanne palette, which I know is like not a popular opinion because the layout of that palette is atrocious, but the formula is amazing. This one, I remember liking it, but I remember this purple shade wasn't my favorite. It was patchy, but I'll have to try it again because I feel like I got better with eyeshadow since I used this palette. so. We'll have to see if that's true, but this is a palette I feel like is a all year round. But I thought I'd mention it in this video because, again, there's blue. 
there's pink and purple. <laughs> so yeah, summer vibes. Oh, I do have another, another, <laughs> another Tarte palette. Um, this is the High Tides and Good Vibes eyeshadow palette. First of all, there's a turtle and there's moving water. So summer, but then inside it looks like this and I love it. <laughs> Um, actually, these shades look, I mean, kind of similar. I could do like a similar look with this palette like I have on today. This, I will mention later, is actually the Hello Kitty Tropical Escape Collection from ColourPop. The blue palette, obviously. <laughs> um, but yeah, this one is another palette that has pressed glitters. So if you hate pressed glitters... I mean, I'm not even sure if this palette is still available, but there's pressed glitters in it. But I remember really liking this when I used it, and yeah, I feel like you could do a fun look with different colors. Like you could do blue, you could do pink, neutral, so it has some fun variety, and I love the packaging of this. This palette is one of my favorite palettes in my collection. I believe I mentioned this one in the spring video too, but it's the Violet Voss Coral Crush palette. Beautiful. Love these shades. Love this mustardy yellow. I think that is a nice addition because everything else is very coral. I mean, it's called the Coral Crush, but you could do more like everyday look or you could punch it up with these like brighter shades. So I really like that. And the mattes are amazing in this palette. I only have one other Violet Voss palette and it's like a boxy charm exclusive. So I don't really, I'm not that familiar with Violet Voss formula if this one is different, but if they're all like this, I should try some more of her palettes cause I love this one. Then we have two of my Natasha Denona palettes. Um, the first one is the Sunrise palette. This is another one that I feel like I'll probably mention in the fall as well because it has some like late summer vibes um, with these like obviously sunset. This is called a Sunrise palette, not a Sunset palette, but you know what I mean? <laughs> I could go either way. Um, I love this palette. I love the yellows in this palette. Yeah, this is another one of my favorites. Even though I haven't used all the shades yet, I just know. Like, Natasha Denona does not disappoint me ever. So, yes, this one I had to mention. And I also have to mention, of course, the bronze palette. This one is very much like the Naked Heat, but less red, I guess. More like true bronze shades. Um, I also love this one. I love this middle shade, Alloy. That one is more like coppery on my eye. So I don't know if that's cause like I have green eyes and like the contrast, but I love it so much. I haven't used the two like black sheeps of the palette yet, but they look really fun and I've heard they're really good too. And I've seen people do looks with them and I think they look really fun. So I had to mention this one because it's beautiful. And now I think the rest are all like my big palettes. I kind of grouped them like that because I had them stacked a certain way. Anyway, the first one is this Be Perfect Cosm. Be Perfect. Yes. Why am I saying that weird? Be Perfect Cosmetics <laughs> Carnival Palette. Um, a collection of eyeshadows, shimmers, and glows. This is Stacy Marie Makeup Artist Collab. And it looks like this. This reminds me of the Pure Raw Beauty Christie Palette, but all mixed together, kind of. So you have like your neutrals, but then you have your colors and everything's kind of just all over, which I actually like 
when it comes to this palette because it makes me use like it makes me go out of my comfort zone I guess um, and this shade here Queenie it looks very basic in the pan right but it is so unique on the eye I just love it I have a video using that shade um, and these are highlighters which are more like deeper on my skin tone so that's another reason why like this is more like a summery palette to me but yeah love the shades in here i love to look just look at this palette to be honest so there's that one then there is my uh juvia's place the masquerade it looks like this i think this is the palette that you can get in a mini size, I'm pretty sure. At the time I bought this, there was only the regular size. So I have this huge palette now <laughs> with these ginormous shades. But this is another palette where you have like half neutral, half color. So you can like mix and match. You can just stick to one side. You can just do colorful if you wanted to. So I really like this palette. This is one of the first palettes I owned because of Nikki Tutorials. She was like one of the first YouTubers I started watching and she was always talking about Juvia's Place and how it was the best ever. So I bought three palettes in like a bundle and this was one of them. And I'm really happy that I have it because I feel like because I have these Juvia's Place palettes, I don't need tons of other like colorful palettes because these ones have neutrals and colors so depending on my mood if this was like in my shop my stash or something and i only wanted to use like a few of these shades for like every day i could do that but then i have options so another one that i really like then i have another norvina palette but this is the big one the Pro Pigment Palette Volume 1. The Pro Pigment Volume 5. Is that the new one? That is on my wish list because it looks beautiful. And I wish I had waited to get that one, but it's been so long. So I have the first one she came out with, which is more... It's kind of similar to the new one in that there's like pinks and purples. But there is also these like more neon leaning shades and these like true like you have your true blue what do they call it primary blue primary red so it's more unique to my collection I guess in that sense but this is a palette that I've used only once and every time I mention it in a video I, I haven't used it again since that one time, so I need to break into this. But I have heard that the new one, the formula, is even better. So, yeah, I'm going to probably get that one at some point. But I do have the first volume, which I feel is fun for summer. Oh, there was two smaller palettes after this, but anyway. Here is my Nikki Tutorials Beauty Bay Pressed Pigment Palette beautiful colors love this one um i love everything in this palette the mattes and the shimmers really the shimmers are almost like creams like i don't know if you can see like this looks like a putty like there's a dent where i had used it and they're just super shiny and fun and yeah i just love this especially like for summer this side um, I have a look using all four of these shades and I loved it. So yeah, this is a fun one. And really it has, if you opened it on this side more, you would find this maybe more even leaning fall. So yeah, variety. And then I have another palette that I haven't used yet. It came in a boxy charm. The... Uh, Eloise, I believe. Eloise Beauty, the Queen palette. I've heard really good things about this palette, but I haven't used it yet, like I said. But it looks like this. So again, that blue, 
pink, purple, summer. <laughs> so yeah, I should use this before summer's over, but at the same time, the shimmers in this palette are more leaning like jewel tones, which I like to use in the fall and winter. So yeah, I might break this out in a future video. And my last one is another like limited edition collab, the Chloe Morello Pretty Fun and Fearless Volume 2 from Ciate. I do also have volume one, but this one is more summery to me. So pink and purple. No blue, but it is this green. So yeah, this is another one mm, I could probably just use all year round. But something about the colors, like, I don't know, something drew me to believe it was more summery. So yeah, I really want to use this shade all over. This shade is called Chartreuse, but it looks more like mint green on camera. But anyway, yeah, I remember really liking the formula of these Ciate palettes, so I need to revisit them. But I think that is it for today. Oh, no, I did want to mention my new Hello Kitty Tropical Escape Collection. I just played with this for the first time today. Um, like I said, it's the I'm wearing this one on my eyes, the Coco Cutie palette. So I will show you that one. It looks like this. Beautiful. It's very like pool vibes, I feel. And I love that there's like a little coconut drink stamped in. So yeah, this is the one I'm wearing. On my eyes today, I did use all four shades, but I kind of like ombre them together. So, but I really like it. And I really like how it leans more turquoise. So it looks more summer and fun and bright. And then I have the pineapple cake palette. This is the next one I'm probably gonna use first because yellow mustardy shade here. Yeah, and it has a little pineapple. So love this. I feel like ColourPop collabs are getting better and better. Like they're just doing really good with their collabs. I almost bought the Barbie Malibu whatever collection at the same time I bought this one. <laughs> but I was like, okay, hey, no, you need to calm down. Um, but this is the Cherry Sweet. This is the pink pinky purple one. This one is also beautiful. Has little cherries stamped in. And the last one is probably gonna be like my most used down the line because it's the Teeny Keeny and it's orange. So you guys know if you've seen other videos that I love orange eyeshadow. And I feel like this one you could pull off like any time of year probably. Um, because this shade here is more, it looks, again, colors on camera do not look the same as they do in person. But this orange is deeper on camera, it's very bright, but in person it's more like a pumpkin-y shade. So yeah, love this. So that was the last thing I wanted to mention. I just forgot it till the end because I just opened them today. But yeah. That's it. So I guess it wasn't too long. I hope you liked this video. If you think I'm missing a fun summer palette in my collection, let me know. Um, or let me know if you have any of these palettes and if you're using them, if you like them, if you don't like them. But yeah, give it a like. Give this video a like if you liked it. Subscribe. <laughs> ah, I always have to remember my outro. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!